Hey everybody, it's Andy. So I have a logic puzzle I'd like you to try. And I tried this the first three times over three months and I still got it wrong. Here's the scenario. The rule is, if a card has an even number on it, the other side will be red. So which two cards do you need to flip over in order to prove this true or false? Go ahead and pause this video and make your selection. If you decided not to flip over the three, that's correct. We do not need to flip over the three because the rule is about even numbers, right? If you decided to flip over the blue, that is actually correct because we want to make sure that this is not an even number because the rule is even numbers have red on the other side. Now a lot of people like to choose the red just to make sure this is even, but we never said anything about odd numbers and so this could be odd and it would not break our rule. Because we did say if there is an even number, it has to be red. So we have to flip over the final eight here to make sure the rule is true. Now, if you didn't get this correct, that's okay. Less than one out of four people get it correct the first time. And if you're like me, you don't get it correct the second and third time either. And in some studies, it's been less than 10% of the participants getting it correct. And the reason is, is it's abstract, it's just logic, and sometimes our brain does not like dealing with those types of abstract situations. Let me give you another scenario. The scenario is you are a police officer and you see some people outside of a restaurant drinking and you need to make sure that they're at least 21 if they're drinking alcohol. The only thing you know about these four people is one is drinking beer, one has a Sprite, one is 16 year olds, and one is 33. And on the other side is either their age or what they're drinking. If you can only flip over two of these cards, which two would you flip over to make sure that no one is breaking the rule, you must be 21 to drink alcohol. So take some time to think about this. Here's the answer. Well, we do want to know and make sure that this person who is drinking alcohol is at least 21. So we'll definitely want to flip over this one. This person is drinking Sprite. We don't really care how old they are because you can be any age to drink Sprite. This person is 16, so we definitely want to flip this over to make sure they are not drinking beer. And this person is 33, and they could be drinking anything. So the answer is we want to flip over the top two to figure out if the rule is being followed here. Now, you might have had an easier time with this. About 75% of people get this scenario correct, as opposed to one out of four in the first scenario with an abstract problem. Why is that? Well, this tends to be very easier for our brains. And for some reason, our brains can handle logic when it's packaged into context and when it's packaged into like social rules. Let me give you another rule. Okay, let's take one more scenario in a real world situation. It's a social rule that needs to be followed. You're at a movie theater and you're taking tickets. And the rule is that you need to be at least 13 to watch a PG-13 movie. And we're just going to say that this movie theater has only G-rated movies and the PG-13 rated movies for simplicity. So the next four people in line, we know that one is age 12 and on the other side is the movie rating that they're watching. One is watching PG-13, and their age is on the other side. One is watching G, and then one is 14 years old. If this is the only information you know about the next four people in line, which two of these post-it notes do you want to flip over to make sure that nobody is breaking the rule? You must be at least 13 to watch a movie. So we want to make sure that, number one, whoever is watching this PG-13 movie, we're going to want to know how old they are to make sure they're not under 13. So we're going to make sure we flip this over. We don't care about the 14 year old because they can watch PG-13 and rated G. And we don't care about the rated G because that could be anybody at any age. But the 12 year old, we want to make sure that they are only watching the rated G show. So these are the two we would pick. And you probably picked this quite a bit faster and that's because that is context specific, which our brains like. So just thought that was totally interesting. If you're interested, send this video to a friend, see if they can pick out the first situation and the rest of them, see how fast they can figure that out too. Just a fun little trick. Have a great one. Thanks for watching.